here that allows you to display either kilowatts which is what it's on right now you can see I'm uh, using 186 watts uh, tells you how many kilowatt hours per midnight so this is basically uh, the furnace running and the electric heater I have in the room here which I tend to heat up in the morning as I start work get a little warmer than the rest of the house you can also click on the dollar button and it now changes everything into dollar amounts so I'm currently burning at about a three cents per hour rate at that 178 watts or whatever it was there tells you how much I've spent since midnight using electricity how much this month which is basically the last uh, 24 hours and then the projected bill at that same level of burn rate and <coughs> you can also look at your carbon co2 emissions measured in pounds if i go to back to watts here the other thing you'll notice is there's a plus minus under here and as i mentioned i have this scale set up for zero to five kilowatts it's kind of the the range I expect to see. What you could also do is you can just, in this case, I'll hit the plus button, or excuse me, the minus button, and it'll start to lower that number. So now it's a scale of 0 to 4, 0 to 3, 0 to 2. So now this is reading 0 to 100 or 0 to 1000 watts. So it allows you to get a little bit more sensitivity on this uh, indicator based on what you're looking at there. So that's another thing to note on this page. Now let's go over to the history page. Now I won't, you've got the hour stuff here, you've got the daily, up. now we've got it zeroed out so that I only have my data in here now. So just what I, yesterday according to this I used 4.4 .4 kilowatt hours over that 24 hour period at a cost of 54 cents. So that's kind of neat to be able to just get a snapshot of what the, the last few days worth of actual measured usage was and <coughs> the equivalent cost. Now let's go over the graphing section here which is what I'm usually most interested in. As I mentioned, you know, you've got control over the, uh, m the sample history whether by the second by the minute by the hour by the day by the month and uh, how much coverage you want to have on the screen so I have it set right now for the last four hours so you can see uh, start off by 200 watts and then kicked its way up to a peak about two, 2000 which basically what this was was uh, when I got in the room here this morning I turned on this 1500 watt heater and then our normal house furnace is what is causing this regular uh, about a uh, 600 watt above the nominal house usage which is about 170 to get what we normally have so that's kinda cool what's neat is if you look, look at it over the 24 hour period it goes and collects the data from the gateway which is just a little device that's plugged into the wall which is basically a little computer with a little web server on it that all this data so it's fetching that data now and it's serving it up to my browser here so here's the history for the last 24 hours measured on one minute at a time 
and there's a thousand watts, two thousand, three thousand. So you can see these big peaks here are the furnace coming on and off. As I mentioned, it's uh, 600 plus the normal uh, average of 170 for the house. Then the furnace was shut off because we had a warm day. <clears throat> so the house was being uh, heated by, by just solar thermal type power. Then later in the day had lights coming on and so forth. So the furnace was starting to kick up a little bit. Overnight, you can see uh, that these little spikes here are the, our electric blanket coming on through the night while the furnace was still running. Then here is this morning with uh, the 1500 heater kicking in and then the furnace overlaid on top of it. So you get a nice real-time profile of what's going on during your last 24 hour period and if you notice anything that might be abnormal going on you can certainly look at that. So now let's look at the instead of the the live view let's take a look at some of the history uh, options that are on the menu here. So let's look at the hour history. So all this is just nothing live being captured here now it's just displaying the data that was already uh, recorded. So here's the last uh, amount of information and on, under this screen it's listed in kilowatt hours and you can look at it on a per hour basis and with just scrolling over it you can look at it more specifically. If you put your cursor down, click the mouse and drag across it will actually zoom into that if you wanted to get a little more granular about it. If you use your zoom wheel or your mouse wheel it will uh, scroll back out again. The other thing you can do instead of kilowatts, if you want to look at what your voltage was doing, min and mac for, for each hour, so you can see here we're pretty pretty well regulated right around that 120 volts. And you can also look at it from a dollars standpoint, so how much you're uh, using per hour based on the, uh, the amount of kilowatt hours you're burning at the moment. So anyway, there's a few new things that I didn't get to show you last time. Uh, be nice as time goes on here, I can look at the daily and the monthly history looking at both the uh, kilowatt hours and mainly the dollars are the things that I'll be uh, watching the most closely. So that's it. Talk to you later. Yes, indeed, I'm talking for you and me, and I'm hoping that you come back to me.